Thank you so much for making the time to hear from the Fayetteville Free Library, the FFL, during your day of making. Please visit the FFL at www.fflib backslash make to find resources, FAQs, program ideas, inventory lists for our makerspaces, forms, policies, and more. Who we are. We, the Fayetteville Free Library, the FFL, are passionate about serving and engaging the community. Our mission is to provide free and open access to ideas and information. Our vision is that by creating equal and open access for individuals to cutting edge technology, unique and innovative learning opportunities, and powerful ideas, people and communities will transform their own lives. Why? Beginning in 2010, we had undertaken to reimagine our spaces, evaluate our budget priorities, and assess all of our services and collections so that we could confidently decide what to stop doing so that we could effectively move toward what's next. Our goal was to create a platform where the community would come together to not only passively consume information, but to think together, create content, and to make. In 2011, the Fayetteville Free Library became the first public library anywhere in the world to provide free and open access to 3D printing technologies and other tools of making. Today, in 2015, libraries and institutions across the country and the world are embracing and integrating making as part of their missions, recognizing its potential as an avenue for participatory STEM learning, community engagement, and transformation. The FFL, as one of the first to take this risky leap into the future of libraries, has since dedicated countless hours to sharing what we have learned and what we know, not only with those in the library profession, but also outside of our industry, in fields including education, museums, health, manufacturing, engineering, and more, about the developing opportunity to partner in new ways with public libraries towards accomplishing shared goals of community-based learning, invention, innovation, and entrepreneurship. <clears throat> How? The FFL has dedicated substantial staff hours and resources towards knowledge sharing by developing and constantly updating FAQs, which we feature on our website specifically to assist and support our colleagues around the world as they develop similar opportunities for their communities. We also have taken a bold step at our state level by developing and facilitating a library makers showcase or a mini maker fair to be held at our state association's annual conference bringing together representatives across library types to inspire others and share what they are doing in their communities to support invention, discovery, learning, and entrepreneurship through making. Across the United States and throughout the world, libraries and other organizations were slower to adapt to the growing community interest in and need for high quality STEM learning through making. As organizations have since begun to embrace making in STEM, the FFL staff has developed and provided innovation tours as well as direct sharing consultations with many organizations looking to adapt making and STEM programming for their community or individual interests. The FFL has consulted with libraries and museums, schools, universities, homeschool groups, manufacturing and software companies, and more. The FFL has visited, both physically and virtually, colleagues to share knowledge across the U.S. and Canada, and we have received physical and virtual visitors from around the world, including Australia, South Korea, Great Britain, Japan, Romania, and several countries in Europe, including Italy, France, Spain, and Denmark. Who? As a team, we understand and embrace the fact that the community drives and shapes the mission and service philosophy of the FFL. Patrons expect more from the FFL and the FFL delivers. Our library agenda is driven by community needs, aspirations, desires, and interests. We know that by creating equal and open access for individuals to cutting edge technology, unique and innovative learning opportunities, powerful ideas, and each other, community members will transform their own lives. John McKnight and Peter Block, in their profound little book, The Abundant Community, suggests that every community already has everything it needs within the community. This idea resonates with us at the FFL. 
Libraries and library staff are in a unique position in the community in that we understand that there is talent, expertise, knowledge, and creativity all around us in countless forms right now. As new opportunities become available, say for instance, creating open access to 3D printers on a library platform, we understand that it is not the librarian's job to become a 3D design expert or a 3D printer technician. It is, in fact, our responsibility to reach out into the community, identify the people who have these skill sets, engage with them, and invite them to share their knowledge, passion, and creativity with their neighbors. We support these relationships and this knowledge sharing by providing space, technology, equipment, software, and promotions. In essence, we sustain lifelong learning opportunities, relationship development, knowledge exchange, and the growth of our community. Using both formal feedback through our community engagement survey and informal feedback from the community, we continually adjust what making programs and technologies we offer to fit our patrons' needs. The social aspect of learning and thinking together, the relationships that have formed in all age groups as a result of creating access to interesting technologies and opportunities has been the most striking and gratifying result of our simple shift in programming from consumption to making. This is, in fact, the community making their library. Making in STEAM. With the launch of the FFL's three makerspaces, the FFL team has raised the bar for customized access to resources and learning. FFL patrons become certified FFL makers. This impressive distinction is added to their patron card and account. All FFL team members have the same knowledge base to execute training sessions in the makerspaces. The FFL serves as a gateway for the community to access technology and tools that enhance and broaden their skill sets for the 21st century. STEAM is an acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. STEAM literacy is the development of skills in these subjects for the further advancement of personal knowledge. Developing STEAM literacy empowers individuals to succeed and advance first in school and then later excel in the job market and the global economy. STEAM literacy engenders a deep curiosity and creativity that allows a person to think outside of the box, lifting the invisible walls that limit an individual's experience to repeating what others have already thought and created while giving rise to new evolutions in experience and understanding, exploring the yet to be discovered. Sometimes that is as simple as using a hammer to place a nail in a wooden car, and sometimes this is as complex as learning computer code to design software. STEAM and Maker Programming. For children, our after-school clubs and summer reading program are unique, giving patrons access to well-researched, engaging, and thought-provoking maker and STEAM programming and services where children and their families can leave with new knowledge, how to build a bridge, make a circuit, 3D print, make a movie, write a book review, and more. This summer, the FFL piloted our first ever FFL Geek Girl Camp, a week-long STEM and making camp for 44 girls in our community in grades three through five. According to the Girl Scout Research Institute, research shows that girls start losing interest in math and science during middle school. Recent surveys also have shown that girls and young women are much less interested than boys and young men in math and science. We see this as an opportunity, an opportunity for public libraries to have an impact. Throughout the school year, we have many opportunities for school-aged children to supplement the STEAM knowledge they are developing in school through informal, hands-on programs. Creation Club for grades 6 through 9 and Creation Club Junior grades 3 through 5 meet each month and support students' interest in digital creation. These clubs allow students to learn the technologies in our Creation Lab, such as podcasting equipment, video cameras, green screens, Adobe Creative Suite, and Mac Creative Suite software, and more. By teaming up to make fun projects such as movie trailers, comic strips, and video games, Students are having fun while developing creativity, critical thinking, teamwork, and technology skills that will make them more employable in the future. Our monthly LEGO brainstorms for grades 3 to 5 and Mission LEGO for grades 6 to 8 find groups of children having a blast while learning how to build and program LEGO robots 
thereby developing skills and interests that can set them on the road towards becoming a future programmer or engineer. Teens. Teenagers at our library develop STEM and workforce skills not only by attending our STEAM and MAKER programs, classes and clubs, but also through volunteerism. We have teen volunteers, for example, who write mods for our Minecraft server, who provide technology assistance to our adult patrons, who act as counselors in training for our Geek Girl Camp, and who develop and execute weekly MAKER programs. These in-depth, meaningful volunteer roles allow teens to develop the types of 21st century skills and experiences necessary to land a job and also help give them career-based direction and focus. For adults, likewise, not only have the they have the opportunity to, to attend one-on-one -on -one or group technology classes on a wide range of topics, but also can be found leading classes and clubs that focus on 21st century skills that they're interested in sharing with and further developing with their neighbors. For instance, we have a volunteer-led electronics club, robotics club, sewing club, knitting club, home repair series, 3D design classes, SolidWorks, tutoring sessions, and more. These groups and events find like-minded people bouncing ideas off one another, troubleshooting problems together, and developing meaningful personal and professional relationships. Our community members are also able to learn technology skills through access to our online learning services like Webicator and Lynda.com. Additionally, we provide daily access to one-on-one -on -one technology appointments. Community members can make appointments on topics ranging from computer basics to Windows 8 to 3D printer training to job searching and anything in between. Informal and drop-in opportunities. Finally. We have also developed spaces within the library with a particular goal in mind of supporting free and open access to the tools and technologies of making that people need to reach their goals. Our FFL Creation Lab, FFL Fab Lab, and Little Makerspace are three examples of areas in the library that were developed for informal STEAM and making, learning, and sharing. These are places that people in the community can come together and geek out teaching one another and finding access to technologies and learning opportunities they may not find anywhere else in the community. The Creation Lab features digital creation tools such as a green screen wall, video cameras, podcasting equipment, computers, and software like the Adobe Creative Suite for the creation and editing of audio, video, games, and graphics. The FFL Fab Lab creates access to both low and high tech equipment needed for making physical things ranging from sewing machines to laser cutters, from hand tools to 3D printers. The Little Makerspace gets children started on this continuum, providing access to toys and kits that spark STEAM interest through tinkering and play. In summary, as an informal learning institution, the public library is well-placed to act as a platform for the development of all literacies. Just as traditional literacy skills are learned and mastered through practice, STEAM literacies are learned and mastered through engaging in hands-on STEAM and making activities. We consider supporting one's communi our community's access to these types of learning opportunities and these gateways to discovery a critical part of our mission. We not only provide access to materials, but also to transformative technologies, spaces, and individuals in our community to support exploration of 21st century topics and delve deep into developing these essential and meaningful skills and interests. Thank you. Please contact me, Sue Considine, Executive Director of the FFL at sconsidine at fflib.org. And please visit myself and my team at the Fayetteville Free Library's website, www dot fflib dot org